now. Hello, and welcome to more Heroes of the Storm. Today we are doing some post-commentary of another game that Flop and I played on Dragonshire. It's a bit long, but it's really quite fun. So you can see me on Morales and Flop on the red team's Diablo. So uh, this one was an excellent match. Uh, we do have uh, our friend Devin commentating with us. Say hello, hello. Devin. Perfect. And uh, we are against an Arthas, a Karazine, a Sylvanas, Lieutenant Morales. Oh, that's us. <laughs> what if it was? We are an Arthas, Karazine, Sylvanas, Morales, and Diablo. And they are a Tyrande, Delat, Diablo, Sylvanas, Zeratul, and Nova. Double stealth already. Yeah, and we'll notice that that double stealth causes me a lot of trouble as Morales. At least until I figure out how to deal with it. Yeah, keeping an eye out for the double stealth, uh, especially in this game, uh, as Diablo having that nice AoE spread of fire stomp and um, eventually the returning fire, uh, I learned to use that to pick up some of the stealthy guys, which is nice. And I guess that's one of my responsibilities. We certainly wouldn't have had nearly as easy a time if that fire wave, especially the return fire wave, hadn't uh, revealed, especially Nova, I think, is who gets caught by it the most. Yeah, I think I catch Nova at least twice, uh, but it is definitely something you learn to look out for. <clears throat> and when contesting all these points across various parts of the maps, everyone has to be afraid that they're going to get sniped down by some sort of coordinated strike. Yeah, the uh, stealth has global presence in a way. It's implied global presence that they can do that. And... Yeah, Diablo. I do get a kill early on Sylvanas. Uh, also middle, they picked somebody off. Was that Sylvanas as well? Yeah, that was the first kill. Was me and Karazim take Sylvanas out. <laughs> she gets a little cocky, and I think I even I dive under the towers to take her. But towers don't do nearly as much damage as League of Legends. Nah, you're Diablo. Right. Even if they were League of Legend towers, it doesn't matter. They're the Lord of Terror. Yeah. Now. Um, I'm getting used to Diablo's talents, and I note that the other Diablo, Pashuko, uh, takes Devil's Dew, reducing the resurrection cost to 60 souls out of your 100 max. Um, whereas I go for uh, Soul Feast, which increases my health regeneration by 3% per soul, uh, so I'm going to be a little tankier than he is. Yours is much better. I think throughout the game, Diablo just doesn't have a very solid build. Yeah, from what I can tell about this, um, here I, uh, <clears throat> for the team, I body block that sentinel. <laughs> took, one, <laughs> took a bullet for a good old monk. Although I feel like he could dodge it, but I mean. Yeah, so monk, uh, we're tied up for kills now. I think that they blew away Arthas and what, Morales probably? I, I actually didn't catch who died. If we look at the stats, the Arthas and the Diablo, yes, uh, had one death each. And that Sylvanas up top barely gets away. All of the Sylvanases uh, do a decent job of getting away. And that, uh, oh, no. one auto attack was all required. That's twice that Sylvanas, like, escaped. She Just... overstayed her welcome and got away with it. I know. That's so here we can see up top that I'm about to fall victim to a sort of stealth sandwich. As Zeratul gets me and I have nowhere to go, and then they both just melt me pretty quickly. I know. And then I have Diablo to... turns around, like, where'd he go? <laughs> no, I was so tough before. Um, I think I do make it out of here alive, but just barely. That was nice. I, I saw that you stopped moving, which was a pro strat, to bait out the stun, and then you, you moved out of it. Very, yeah, I... very well played. I felt she was going after it, it's, and I didn't it's a want. Risky town. <laughs> well, I didn't want her to put it in front of me and just AOE block me. Ugh, yeah. Then like I was like, me. Ugh. if she stopped me from being able to move forward and I have to go around it, it's gonna be worse. So down bottom we have Arthas and Ferizim. They can take this fight, and there they go chasing them off. And the BM howling blast on Diablo, like get out of here, Lord. <laughs> Yep, and that Sylvanas escapes again, the Count. 
All right. I guess it could be that her name comes from counting how many times she barely gets away. <laughs> uh, here, our so long is up top. She wastes her escape. Uh, however, Levy is there to save the day. Tehran goes for the trade. Yeah, so this is where I think from here on out I stop getting uh, outmaneuvered all the time by the cloaked people and I sort of stick as close to the gate as possible. And it starts to work out. You can see I'm going to escape uh, fairly soon when their stealths come back up here. So here comes Zeratul coming around behind me. And I'm just like, nope, I'm out. Yeah, getting out of that was pretty pro. Um, Sylvanas wants a kill, is going to get none and dead. Our Sylvanas. Uh, I'm taking some towers in this gate in mid because no one is here. And it doesn't look like the towers are going anywhere fast. So now, here begins my constant throughout the game use of the mule, which I don't know how much it helps. It, it does replenish some ammo, and it does, at least perhaps over the course of the entire game, give us a couple extra seconds. So, um, I think it was a worthwhile choice of talent. It's not what I usually take, but I saw how much our ammo is being depleted and thought about the Dragon Knight sort of pushing as hard as it would and went for the mule. What do you yeah. normally take at level 7? Uh, let's see, at no level 7, I'm trying to remember what the choices are there. Cleanse, there's advanced ballistics, I think, for the grenade. Alright, there's a double assassin gank down here, and Roughhouse and Levy both make it out alive to the sippy cup, um, which was pretty impressive. Uh, I believe I usually take the advanced ballistics. Karazim takes it. The count, once again, adds another tally to the escape with my life. Really? That's Sylvanas. <laughs> it, the, the wiliest. I come down here and I'm like, hey look, there's a bunch of low people. I think I can kill them. In the last video, we had an Illidan that was squirrely. And now, now it's manifested into the Sylvanas over here. Yes. Uh, blue team is maintaining control of the top shrine, <laughs> uh, but we are stealing bottom before Zeratul can make it right when he steps onto the plate. It's ours, or at least we're contesting. And then uh, me and Arthas are like, I think we can push against the Sylvanas. What's she going to do? Get? I tried desperately wanted to get her um, to flip her over the wall. Zeratul comes down, blows me up because we thwarted his dragon plans, blows up Arthas. And there's Sylvanas again, getting away. No. Oh, it's so close. Every time. That puts you guys at, uh, that puts the other team at level 10, so now they have the ultimate, so I wouldn't be surprised if they just bunker down and take time both of the things and get the Dragon Knight here. Yeah, they are eight kills ahead of us. Uh, um, they but... get the Dragon Knight and punt me over the wall instead of killing me, which is probably a bad idea. Uh, good save, Dragon Knight. Hi, Dracula. Um, apocalypse. Always fun. Didn't really do much. Just kind of dodged. As Diablo, you can push the Dragon Knight around quite a bit, and that's um, definitely a worthwhile thing to keep in mind. And so you can see... The Dragon Knight does a little bit of work in our mid lane, and then I undo a good deal of it once again with the Hero Mule. Hero Mule. True. I feel like we should give the Mule a name. Something that starts with an M. Mule Mike Tannis. the Mule. <laughs> Alright, so the Dragon Knight gets very little accomplished, takes out the Mule. Unfortunately, the wall still goes down, but... Yeah, it gets our wall, but we've already taken theirs as well. And we've done a little bit of work down here in the bottom lane on the blue team. Uh, so that lane is actually pushing up to their towers and our minions are doing damage. Um, they do blow up our Sylvanas. Oh, the Count bites it! Finally. Finally. She, like, Haunted Waved into the tower. I'm not sure what she was she was thinking there. Her Haunted Waves, I saw her Haunted Wave in the tower once. She dig it away. Oh, this is... Uh, so we nail. It's and very the stasis, questionable. Their Diablo pushes Kerzim into the stasis where he's safer. And, and we, <laughs> with the BMA, he was Cinder going for Zeratul. Up. That's what he was doing. I was Is wondering it? why he just BM Syndragosa'd <laughs> the Diablo. 
This uh, office yeah. is all about the BM, the Howling Blast. Now he's even kicking it up a notch with his ultimate. Yeah, the Siege Giants distract him while we take out these towers, uh, giving us enough XP to maintain level barity. Um, ish. That Apocalypse going to waste again, except it stuns Flop and Lily up here, us, while we're trying to camp these mercs. And so you notice the blue team is now 10 kills ahead. They stay that way pretty much for the rest of this match. Yeah, 10 to 15 kills ahead the whole match, but we tend to maintain experience parity thanks to uh, structures as a team. It's really impressive um, because Nova and Zeratul are both great for snowballing. So the fact that you guys go through here and you're only at a level difference with a 11 team kill deficit is really impressive by itself. The Diablo, you're not getting away. Tell me Diablo doesn't get away. Oh, I retreat the body block. And that, uh, Diablo doesn't get away, I told you. Yay. That, um, <laughs> oh wait, he does. That lightning breath that you did, that's... I used the ult, the stim drone, perhaps twice to three times in the entire game, and Two of those times, I stim drone you, and then you go straight into lightning breath, which makes <laughs> it pretty <laughs> ineffective. <laughs> yeah, uh, my auto attack, that would actually, yeah, that could help me. I take battle momentum and lightning breath. Um, so I have Soul Feast, Fire Devil for the extra surrounding flame, which will help me detect people um, by standing next to them and burning them. Battle momentum, lightning breath, and Firestorm so that the uh, flame stomps come back to me. Uh, very good, you see, for reducing the effectiveness of Tarande's ult, as well as the stealth. And frankly, I opt away from the medevac on this map because I felt that I would just, uh, you know, drop my way right into the middle Nova! of two stealth players. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Nova that sneaks present. away. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I don't know if everyone caught it, but um, you guys got a bruiser camp earlier, a while ago, which was pushing top, and it forced Zeratul mm -hmm. to take care of it. So that allowed Sylvanas to go top, capture that shrine, and go middle, and get the Dragon Knight while uh, the fight down bottom was happening. It was... In that fight down bottom, I run from the enemy's uh, first tier of gates all the way back to ours, away from Zeratul without dying. And our Dragon Knight gets some work done up here, finishing off this keep, and um, I think Rough House escapes? I can't remember. They really chase her hard, uh, so we kind of group three at the bottom <laughs> and push down these gates that we half destroyed. Sabonis uh, uses a Wailing Arrow to make sure that Tyrande does not get the Lunar Flare on her and the uh, Zeratul can't blink in and slow her. Yep, it's nice. Clutch, that mule at the top, Mule Tannis, doing his job. Neil Tannis? <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay, I agree. I so the agree. double stealth shows up behind Evan. Like, I noticed him. And I think we get Zeratul. No, we force him off. Um, so close. The, the ult from Tarande doesn't necessarily save him, but ensures his, his escape. Yeah, I used the fire breath there. Um, just in case they're coming through the weeds, I couldn't tell. But the one thing I didn't want them to do was... Uh, crushing through the weeds. Uh, now they're what, 5v3 on us here? Me and Arthas cuddle so as to avoid being stunned by Apocalypse. I go down. Uh, and now they are 5 to 4, and with the Kerazine. Um, it's just like, so ham right now. Yeah. A nice Sindragosha would have been good, maybe? Just to run? No, he has to use it for, for his BM shenanigans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Arthas with a body block, and he's shielded thanks to. That won't save him. He gets that last last howl in, though. Yeah. <laughs> Evan calls down Mule Tannis for yet another run. You Hierarch, hold the fort. Mule Tannis. <laughs> you hold the fort, Mule Tannis. <laughs> we believe in you. Uh, well, it's actually kind of impressive how much it's healing. It's healing more than Sylvanas can put out at the moment. <laughs> but um, alas, he dies on the front lines of battle. Yep. And then their two stealth guys are busy cleaning up the top lane, which is pushing pretty hard. And as you can see at this point, we are 15 kills behind. Yeah, 6 to 21. Um, and yet we're only, we're only a quarter level behind. 
And we're on talent parity at the moment. We just hit 16. Um, I took Rampage for extra speed, basic attack damage, and uh, the speed combos nicely with the flame surround, the flame aura that Fire Stomp gives me. Uh, really letting me find and beat down on those stealth units. Which and are as always, I take the safeguard maybe cast once for free. That's Super. such a good combo with that and the first talent, the feedback loop, yeah. because I'm pretty sure it gives you mana both times. And I think you actually gain mana from you. Yeah, In we blow case. up their Diablo, but he's got 100 souls. I've got 95 since I've been dying so much. Now we hunt down Nova here. <laughs> Where yeah. could she be? Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Flame aura, no. No, no Nova. Yes, the Think shot what you from <laughs> Morales taking down the Nova. <laughs> yeah, so when this Diablo gets back, I've got 100 souls, and I've got regen from those souls, and what do they give you, 20% of your health when you have 100? Yeah. Correct. Uh, so we take this camp because um, I've got excellent wave clear now. And you want to get your flame breath as and soon as possible. We get I don't know if you use it. Uh, let's see, is it down? My flame breath is on cool. No, it's up. Okay, perfect. I thought about it, but I was thinking, well, we're going to. When there's multiple. I think I use it. No, when there's enough people around, it's not worth using. Because you'll get less auto attacks. <laughs> right. You uh, have to, to bring get it the back. Attacks. You know, speaking of Diablo, the other team Diablo, he 13, he went spell shield. Why would he go spell shield? Yeah, their Diablo's build is a little weird. He takes Fire Devil like I do. He takes Devastating Charge, not standard. Um, but it does make him escapey with his charge once he jumps in. Apocalypse, spell shield, rampage. His Apocalypse, I can, since I have Battle Momentum, I'm almost guaranteed to get two Lightning Breaths off for every one Apocalypse he can do. Um, but with uh, Devil's 2 ability at level 1, when he dies like a little bit earlier, or he comes back a little earlier, if he dies, there's a level 20 talent where the Apocalypse will proc. It's true, but he has to wait for level 20. And, and he has to die. And he has to die. You know, you, you, you should be playing the game like you don't want to die. Don't get a talent that goes, oh, if you die and you're really bad at playing Diablo, then you can, you will do this. You know, it's like, uh, I don't think I want that talent. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it, yeah. I, I can't really see it being worth it. Speaking of dying, both Sylvanases have managed not to escape for once. Oh. And are dead. <laughs> Mutually down. I, pretty much every time I see those clones, I use an ability on them. Oh, there we catch Zeratul with the returning lightning, or fire, and he decides to uh, abort. And, oh, again! And again. Up top, Diablo. I don't know if we saw it, but just got sandwiched between Arthas oh, and I missed carries it. him. That was so good. Here, yeah, Zeratul. So yeah. The Lord of Terror was terrified. Had nowhere to go. Yeah, Arthas on one side, Karazim on the other, both just punching the crap out of Diablo up there below the shrine between the heads. I can sense a fire breath coming on. There's a lot of stuff it. going I always want to. They silence me, and then I'm oh, too no. low to consider using it. So they just blow uh, both of us away. And the random apocalypse, because that's going to help after you guys die. Yeah. Yeah, I and... The Apocalypse was not the choice, I think. And haunting wave in haunting waving into three people probably wasn't the way to go. Yeah, our Sylvanas jumps into Tyrande Sylvanas and their Nova. Fortunately, their Nova decides to jump into the Dragonite instead of letting one of the supports or specialists do so. Having Sylvanas outside of the Dragonite is actually a very strong thing to have because she'll stop and protect the Dragonite. Okay. Although Having the Tyrande taking that instead of the Nova would have been the best idea because Nova has no escape once that Dragonite is is oh. extinct. Oh, teamwork. You saw the Syndragosa caught, um, not Sylvanas, Tyrande, and Karazim follows up to kill both Tyrande and Sylvanas and die himself to Zeratul. 
However, calling that teamwork would indicate that Disco Philly meant for that to happen. Disco Philly was using that on the Dragon Knight and uh, just happened to catch I th the others. I think he was aiming for them. Uh, considering how earlier he went for Zeratul at a pretty extreme range with the Cindergosa, um, here I burned down the Dragon Knight with my level 20 Lightning Breath. And here we see why, as Nova, you probably shouldn't take the Dragonite and not be safe for safe with it when and the Sylvanas is, is going to <laughs> very nice ult. Well, I mean, I heard the bla uh, Black Arrow; it silences, but I mean, I guess you know that's a way to silence them. <laughs> that's it's true. really good silence. All the time, the best silence. Sometimes there's the status effect that comes with it. All right, so the, it looks like we're you guys are just getting camps right now. A little downtime. Yeah, yeah, we get three camps in the span of about 45 seconds. Yeah, we catch our breath. These bruisers going up top, as uh, Devin mentioned when we were watching this earlier, do a great job of pulling Zeratul away from the fight. Um, because we've already wiped that tower, uh, they're going to push this line all the way to the last keep, the inner keep. And then... We group up, team fight these bruisers, 5v4, they don't have a chance. You know, I was taking a quick look. Uh, if you could look at uh, Sylvanas on the enemy team, her build, she went to a haunting wave build, which I don't think I've, I've seen. Let's see, like so ever. she went barb shot, ranger's ambush, shade form, Wailing Arrow, Splinter Shot, Windrunner, and Fury of the Storm. So she kind of went like, what is that? Oh, I get blown up uh, wandering into the bushes after Zeratul and leaving the rest of my team. It looks like you guys want to push core, but it's, it's not possible at this point. Uh, Zeratul using his Void Prism to lock you guys down until Sylvanas arrives with her with Silencing Arrow and then another Silencing Arrow with. Just a little too soon. Arthas with the body block, although Sylvanas was moving towards it. Uh, I know that one of the... This helmet went flying across the battlefield. Who wears that? Is that the Siege Giants who have helmets on? Yes, I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Alright, Arthas decides to stick it out. This is a familiar spot. There we see Grande. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Karazim gets away. <laughs> oh, there Diablo left the game. I, I noticed that he disconnected a couple times towards the end, or throughout the game. Uh, your, one person on your team also disconnected a couple times. I believe it was Arthas. Alright, so we are... Desperate needs some wave clear up here, and that's my job. Fire does so much. And they get another Dragonite, so they're gonna push. They Forward. can they can do something pretty considerable here with two of your guys down. This is this is a big opportunity for them. And yeah. Diablo is uh, he reconnected, so yeah, he's coming to point. I step back, I try and burn down Taronda while I'm hitting the Dragon Knight with my extended flame breath. I push him off our fort. Yultanis called down once more. Doesn't quite make it this time. No, you know... It was, it was a brave effort, though. Yeah, it is a Dragon Knight. I'm pretty sure when you... Our Catapult launching a little bit against the, uh, the Dragon Knight. And tell me we get Zeratul for all this trouble. We should. Uh, wait, oh, wait, no. we know. We all walk into the stasis. Except Karazim, who's already a ghost. Well, it is a team game, you know. We gotta <laughs> be together. together. So they do a full retreat, or they decide to take these siege minions on the other side of the map instead of the much closer ones. That's smart of them, because it would be greedy to go for your guys, because you guys would obviously come back and most likely kill them. A lot of, a lot of games that I've played, there have been times when my team will try to go after a camp that's really close when the death cooldowns are really low, and then mm -hmm. we just get wiped and it just didn't go well. Yeah, and I think, um, as you've said before, the mercenaries are best used as distractions or to push where you're not. Yeah, you can think of it as an extra hero, so then that'll push a lane 
because it's going to take a while for the plane minions to take out the siege camp or yeah. whatever it is and that leaves a hero to go leave another lane and help each other and put more pressure elsewhere yeah here i call for us to wipe this keep while they're down like two people but then we realize it's a bad idea and we managed to abort without getting caught out at all and without getting hit by that sentinel yeah probably That's thanks important. to zeratul going on his own and taking our siege camp that was i didn't see that that was, uh, that was good offense. Well, it's probably why we didn't lose anybody, so call it worth. Siege Giants do wipe lanes pretty quickly. Or push. Not only that, but you guys have catapults, so yep. naturally it's going to help against the Siege Giants. Yeah, you see uh, Lieutenant Morales going ham on those Siege Giants. The best thing about Lieutenant Morales, I feel, is her passive. You can tank things, like especially in the early game. You can tank things like uh, camp. Ronda wanders into us and gets destroyed after taking his bruiser camp. Diablo just doesn't care. He, he captures that and he's just like, okay, peace. You know? He's like, did my job. You know, not much he could have done there. No, well, everyone else is busy uh, taking merc, cam merc camps. Everyone else on their team is busy on the top lane, clearing some pretty large waves that accumulated up there and taking mercs. Um, me and Levy decide to stay down with the bottom towers. I am trying to telepathically communicate with him to go mid sometime later, and he is uh, telling me not to leave him alone. Well, uh, we all know that telepathic communication doesn't work. Neither of us are Protoss, so uh, we both have orifices through which we speak. If only Miltanis was there to communicate for us. Yeah. So you can see I just go and sit down here. In, the, in this shrine. Obviously the best idea with two stealth assassins roaming the map. You know, I wasn't terribly worried. I was just trying to live long enough that we could get the Dragon Knight, but it turns out they take the top shrine, so... And then people start, you know, being a little salty about what I was doing. Yeah, so I decided to move down here because I know that um, Levi should not be left alone, Morales. Uh, use him as bait to attract the Sylvanas. Um... <laughs> Perfect, it works. Does the count get away? Uh, they do pop Tarande's ult. Karazine. This is the perfect time for a flame breath. Go, 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 gadget breathe. And there's the Stim Drone Lightning Breath. Stim Drone Lightning Breath OP. Uh, right. It does help me get through. Uh, the flame breath does make you uh, unstoppable. So Apocalypse affects me not. One thing that you'll notice a couple times during this game, the, one of the virtues of Morales is how long the range at which she can heal is, is yeah. when um, Sylvanas shoots a silence into the team fight, I can be nowhere near it, and so I can keep healing uh, despite the fact that everyone else is silenced, and then I can come back in and use any of my other abilities to help people live through the silence until they once again can do their abilities. Yeah, we uh, slam dunk both of their squishies support, uh, Taronda and Sylvanas. I find Nova out here with the fire and blow her up. So now they're down three people. Um, they're totally just watching and enjoying the show. Yeah. Diablo is uh, not even clearing the wave. I don't know what he's doing. He's using, he, leveraging spell shield against those minions, I suppose. <laughs> Make it to some, some use, right? Yeah, Arthas moves up. <laughs> Zeratul moves in on me for the win, or that other thing. <laughs> Diablo stands through my whole extended length of breath. I'm not uh, sure what he was hoping to accomplish there. Maybe he wanted to die to get that clutch apocalypse off. <laughs> Zeratul with the obnoxious stasis, the BM stasis. I know you're up here. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Zeratul. A uh, <laughs> little too slow, and we pick up the Dragon Knight and collapse behind it. Here's Tarande stopping by to say hello. That's how it works, Tarande. Right? Karazine says, yes, that is how it works. <laughs> I agree. She escaped using her ult um, a little prematurely, I would say. Uh, at least for her team's success. The Dragon Knight punts Tarande. <laughs> Sindra goes to BM <laughs> on Sylvanas. And right right here I decide that if I just push with my fire breath, they won't be able to attack the Dragon Knight. And I'm probably going to eat someone's health. While well, the Dragon Knight does serious work on their core. 
for the win. And they are still 11 kills ahead of us as they pretty much maintained a 10 plus kill lead the whole time. Yeah, that game felt hard fought and um, I, felt, I felt technically like I'd done well finding enough of those invisible enemies and smushing them. You guys done good. Yeah, we were pretty concerned going into it. Yes, and so once we learned, or once I learned, not it was basically positioning, uh, not just for me, but for most of us. In the beginning of the game, our positioning's a bit rocky, and then we sort of managed to work it out. Now, it's only Fuap and I, uh, and I don't even think we were on voice chat for this game no. uh, because of the typing, so there's no voice chat at all. Only two of us... Uh, at least as far as we know, in queue together. But we managed to work out some good coordination uh, just, I guess, by knowing what we need to do, knowing our respective roles and uh, knowing the enemy's respective roles as well. So once I start not being in front of or on the same level as the rest of the team, I stop getting ganked so much. Yeah, I definitely felt a companionable... Uh the warriors bond of brotherhood with our arthas who uh did a good job i think a couple of times we would just sandwich morales between the two of us uh because always <laughs> expecting a zeratul or nova to pop up behind us and as long as he was in front i was like you know i should just move to the back unless they need me but uh yeah this was a fantastic game it felt great like we pushed hard we were at the same level there at the end um and uh, we fought our little hearts out and won. It was a great game. Uh, facing double stealth on that map is, is hard. You guys pulled it off. Yes. All right. So um, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up and give this video a like. And if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we will... Yes. Uh, let me just remind you that Everything is downhill from here. And unless you are liking our videos and subscribing to our channel, I don't care what you do. <laughs>